Welcome to our channel, Finance Experts. Anyone, regardless of their financial condition, should take steps to protect their assets. Fortunately, there are a number of precautions you may take, such as insurance and estate planning, to protect your wealth. Appropriate insurance coverage can shield you from unanticipated financial loss brought on by tragedies or other unforeseen circumstances. On the other side, estate planning can guarantee that your assets are transferred in accordance with your preferences following your passing. There are many steps you can take to preserve your assets so that, in the event of a terrible occurrence, your hard-earned money won't be lost. One such solution that might assist you in reducing risk and securing your wealth is insurance. Another crucial component of asset preservation is estate planning, which entails making arrangements for the transfer of your assets after your passing. Asset protection. What is it? Asset protection refers to a collection of methods, plans, and legal provisions intended to shield the possessions of people and companies against the demands of creditors who want to lawfully take away assets. Debtors employ asset protection planning for added security, while creditors create and plan the best debt recovery techniques. If a debtor has substantial personal assets, he or she may decide to use asset protection to protect those assets in the event of a payment default. Asset protection refers to the employment of legal techniques to shield one's possessions from being seized or eliminated as a result of unanticipated future occurrences. Many rich people in society use asset protection to guarantee they reduce the risk of their financial activities and to assist secure assets in times of financial and personal crisis. Protection of Assets – Its Importance a thorough asset protection plan's objective is to prevent or considerably decrease risk by shielding your personal and corporate assets from creditors' claims. Unfortunately, the majority of small business owners aren't aware of all the dangers that could hurt their companies or the ways they can protect themselves. An asset protection strategy makes use of legal tactics that are implemented ahead of time and can discourage potential claimants or assist in preventing the seizure of your assets following a verdict. Don't wait to start your asset protection plan if you haven't already. The stronger the plan is expected to be, the longer it will have been in place. The arrangements that will be most advantageous for you mostly depend on the types of assets you own and the creditors who are most likely to file claims against you. How can asset protection keep you safe? You can obtain varied levels of security over your assets depending on the asset protection strategy you choose whether it be by establishing a limited liability company or by purchasing asset protection insurance. In the end, your situation will determine the type of asset protection you require. This doesn't suggest that you should be without all possessions. Rather, your assets should be purchased by or given to a third party so that they are not associated with your name. The reason for this is that creditors will try to recover the money they are due by taking assets that are registered in your name when you experience legal or financial problems, whether as a consequence of a lawsuit or bankruptcy. It's harder for creditors to locate and collect your assets if they are not registered in your name. This can have effects on taxes and asset protection. Therefore, if you want to take this course, you must consult a lawyer. How to protect your assets with insurance a smart approach to safeguard your belongings and yourself in the event of an unplanned accident, injury, or monetary loss is to have insurance. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to use insurance effectively to preserve their assets. In the real estate sector, insurance is one of the most widely used asset protection techniques. Your choice of insurance for your property will depend on the kind of property you have. With a homeowner's policy and a company policy, you may cover your residential and commercial property, respectively. As your portfolio grows, you'll need to raise your insurance coverage. In the end, think about getting a thorough policy. Insurance will defend you from a number of terrible occurrences. Managing your money wisely to protect your fortune you will have made substantial headway if you have a system in place that shields your private assets from the claims of your company's creditors. But you might want to think about adding another level of security for your company. Why? Because the business can lose everything. The owners have minimal accountability to business creditors. 
it's best to have as little invested and maintained in the business as feasible in order to protect as much of your capital as possible. By strategically investing, structuring, and carefully managing day-to-day -day operations, you can control this. You can get advice from an insurance expert about potential exposure for your property and insurance requirements. Talk about the benefits and expenses of the selected insurance. To receive the greatest bargain, make sure to compare insurance providers before choosing one. Anyone can do their estate planning. The idea that estate planning is only for the wealthy is a widespread one. Estate planning is the process of deciding how your assets and affairs will be handled after your death or if you become disabled at its most basic level. Nearly two-thirds of persons in the United States do not even have a will, despite the fact that many people equate estate preparation with a final will and testament. A trust-based estate plan gives many people and businesses more control, while a will can ensure that your final intentions are carried out. A solid estate plan would also designate dependable people to manage your affairs and coordinate your medical care if you are unable to do so yourself, so that your affairs are in order in the case of incapacity as well as taking into account what you leave behind. In conclusion, a well-thought-out estate plan takes risk to your assets into account and efficiently protects those assets. Now, you might have the issue of how you can guarantee the value of your real estate asset by protecting it for a number of tried and true strategies to keep your investments valuable. Insurance By transferring the possible risk of financial loss from yourself to an insurance company, you may manage risk. When you buy insurance, you effectively sign a contract with the insurance provider agreeing to pay a premium and get financial assistance in the event of a covered loss in return. In other words, when you buy insurance, you are giving the insurance company the risk of an unforeseen situation. As your portfolio grows, you'll need to raise your insurance coverage. In the end, think about an umbrella policy for thorough protection. Insurance will defend you from a number of terrible occurrences. However, asset protection insurance won't shield your possessions against lawsuits, bankruptcy, or creditors. As a result, it could be beneficial to employ trust structuring to preserve your assets while also purchasing insurance for them to offer the highest level of protection. Yes, insurance is the best way to protect your assets, but there are many more options to protect your assets. Create a will The most fundamental estate planning strategy is writing a will. This agreement specifies how your assets will be distributed upon your passing. Even though creating a will is a simple first step, many people choose not to do so. According to the 2021 Estate Planning and Will Study, which polled 2,500 Americans and was published by Caring.com, just approximately 33% of respondents really claim to have a will. 34% of those without a will claim that they just haven't had the time. Check your beneficiaries. The designation of beneficiaries for your assets is one approach to avoid probate court. Owners may choose beneficiaries for some accounts, such as retirement funds and life insurance plans, so that they will get a specific asset. Trusts A trust is a legal arrangement between the person who establishes it who is also known as the settler, truster, or grantor, and the trustee who is in charge of looking after the trust assets. According to the terms of the trust, the person who creates it must provide a trustee with certain assets so that they can retain and administer them in trust for the benefit of the beneficiary. The terms testamentary trust and inter vivos trust relate to the trusts that are established during the grandeur's lifetime, testamentary trust and living trust respectively at the grandeur's death. There are two types of trust, revocable and irrevocable. Now. Do you know what are the benefits of asset protection? Thanks for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.